when you know within yourself that there's something that you want to do, and I believe that all of us are born with a purpose, that all of us have something that we're supposed to do, that all of us have some goodness within us, and that goodness gives us a responsibility to manifest our greatness. And when you know that, and you can feel it in your guts, and you know that you're deliberately operating below your potential, you've gotten comfortable, you stop stretching, you stop expanding, you stop challenging yourself, let me tell you something else. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary. It's necessary that you work on it that you develop yourself, that you go for what is yours in the universe. You decide. I'm not going to settle for this. This is not going to be it for my life. I deserve much more than this. See, that'll start making you do some stuff. So there's a lot of people that go through life, they go to work every day miserable, and all they do is just talk about how miserable they are but they don't do anything about it. But what I've come to appreciate and understand when you're working on changing your life, changing some addictive, some habit, getting out of addictive situations or relationships, or working towards building a dream of making a difference in our society, it's hard. Easy is not an option. It's hard living. Life is hard. That's rough. How people look at you. How they respond to you. It's very hard. But you know that if, in order for you to go for where you have to get to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. So if it's hard, then do it hard. Now, how do you hang in there and hanging there during the hard, difficult times. You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. It's possible we can have what we want, yes. Other people have done it, then we can do it. We fail a lot of times, well, a lot of other folks fail, but eventually they came back and they succeeded. So it's possible we can have what we want. And we know that if we want to get it, it's necessary that we allow ourselves to think positive. It's necessary that we get negative, do-nothing people out of our lives. It's necessary that we never stop learning and growing and expanding and developing ourselves. It's necessary that we never give up. And one of the biggest enemies you will ever have to face is yourself. There's an old African proverb that says if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. There's a marathon runner. He says when he's running the 26-mile marathon, Let's say that hypothetically, the 18th mile is the wall. He says, when you're running and you get there, everything in you is telling you to stop, to give up. Every muscle is aching. And you're saying to yourself, I can't do it. I can't do it. But you just keep on and you keep on and you keep on. It feels like you're moving in slow motion, but eventually when you break through that 18 mile wall, and you know it's like done and you're on automatic and you just glide on in. And you know it's there. You know you're going to get to the finish line. And we've all had experiences where we were working on something. And we knew it was possible. And we did the things necessary to bring it into reality. We took the responsibility to make it happen. Other people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. You were attacked. You were criticized. People were opposing you. But you just kept on doing it. It was rough, it was hard, it was difficult, but to you, it was worth it. And eventually you get to this level that you know, can nothing stop me now?